Hello. Today we're going to work on the theme of writing, and we're going to take an interesting approach to it, and we're going to make letters out of clay. And then we're going to make the sculpture from uh, our letters and see what we come up with. And here's what you'll need. So I've chosen a clay for us to work with, and we being Axel, this is my son. Hello. And he's going to be working with me as well, and we'll see what kind of ideas he comes up with. I like the idea of people collaborating, working together, because he might say something or he might do something that I never thought of, and I think, oh, wow, that's a really good idea. And he might look at mine and give me some in input so I know whether I'm doing the right thing or the wrong thing, or it may not make any difference, but, you know, how we react to it. So we've chosen a clay that is very plastic. It's part of a plasticine type of clay. It's um, not going to dry up. You're not going to bake this, and it's going to stay malleable because we need a little extra time to experiment with, and we might have to make adjustments because we're going to plan something out, but you never know if it's going to work the way that you want it to until you actually do it. So what I've been doing is kneading the clay because when you get it, it's going to be a little bit hard, and then just the temperature of your hand and kneading the clay will make it soft, and it makes it very malleable and easy to work with. So if you it, were an Eskimo, it'd be a little hard ex to Exactly. You know, you'd have to find clay. some way to heat your clay in your igloo or something. <laughs> so I'm going to put a, a, a section of clay that I've kind of worked up a little bit, and I'm going to just use a couple of my pens because I want to roll out the clay so that it's exact thickness, and the thickness of these pens is just about right. So I'm going to start off, and I'm going to just kind of roll it gently a little bit, and as it curls up, I might turn it over a little bit, and I'll roll it a little bit more. And we've used our letters plain just to begin with, but you could find different ways. You have different tools you could find, and you can make little textures maybe. That's, that's so cool. Okay, I also, like you can find things that have a <gasps> texture in it, and maybe what I'll do is kind of gently roll into that a little bit and then take that off. Cool, it makes it look like a fish. Yeah, so I'm going to have a fish letter. <laughs> then I just took my, uh, I have a metal triangle that I use for everything. And you could use a kitchen, uh, like a, a table knife, a serrated knife. I've got some nice little tools here, but they're a little small for what I want to do. So I have another uh, ceramic tool. And I'm going to square off the clay. And this, what's handy about this being a triangle, I've got a metal edge I can go against. And it doesn't take very much pressure. So I have formed the letter beginning. So I want to square that off because when I roll that out, it gets to be a circle. Well, it gets, it, you don't have those nice crisp edges. Yeah, that. Okay, so. Because you don't really want okay, a so really there's, wavy letter unless that's your yeah. seat. Okay, so then I could use, uh, I could free form it. So there I've made another letter F. Ooh, cool. Okay, so that's, that's like the fish. general that's the general idea. And so what we've done is we've come up with some sketches with the idea of what we might do with our letters that we've made out of the clay. And Axel, what, what have you decided to do with yours? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of build mine up and if it does to make it look like the Eiffel Tower. Okay. And if it doesn't work, I might have to make a base or add a little more clay to help it hold. Okay, so you plan something out, and it's just a matter to see if it works. And if yeah. it doesn't, then you come up with plan B. Uh huh. Okay. Well, I did some sketching here, and you know, I just used my pencil to try a couple different arrangements. And then once I had an idea that I thought I kind of liked a little bit, then I used my markers to represent the different color of clays. And then so I decided that I'm going to put mine in a circle. Ooh, cool. And it doesn't necessarily mean that they have to be uh, read correctly. So why don't you work on yours? I'll get my mine here, and we'll start to work. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put these together back to back so, first. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of pushing the bottom of my A down just to make it more stable. Okay, that's good. I'm going to put an upside down A, and then put the end so it's at an angle. And the N and the Z are kind of the same, but I'm going to go with that. Ooh, that looks fun. All right. How's the Eiffel Tower working out there? It's a little unbalanced, so I might have to add a base. Okay. Actually, let's put that where it belongs. 
there, look, I made the Eiffel Tower. Uh oh, oh it's falling down. The now, now, what do you think? What, what, yeah, so you're gonna have to kind of engineer that. Maybe if instead of having them all line up on top of each other, how about I do? You could move them off to the side, or maybe you know sometimes you might have to abandon your original idea and you still have all the the parts. But you could add more clay. You could add some texture once you have it together. And what's nice about this Ooh, clay how about being that, Dad? that looks pretty cool. Okay, now you just got to kind of balance it now. Just stabilize it a little bit. You might have to put it. Um, say everything is up and down that way. You might have to put a little stabilizer to keep it from leaning forward. So if you need some clay, here, thank you, you. could put a little in through there, something like that. I'm kind of liking the way that mine's turning out cool. here. Cool, that looks like a little mini stone hedge. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is kind of get this to blend together and this is you can see now that this is why it's kind of important to have a clay that you can keep on working with because maybe everything looks good on paper but in the reality you got to play with it a little bit and find out what works and sometimes here dad how does this look that's looking great sometimes when you have to rethink your idea you end up coming up with something that is better than your original idea anyhow so in any project whether it's with a clay whether it is writing a paragraph or an essay or a story, as you work on the process, as you actually work on the real thing, sometimes you have to make changes and it's all for the better. Dad, I made you a little Stonehenge person. Oh, there we go, okay, we can put them right in there. Thanks, Axel. And next time when you're writing something, maybe you'll consider doing it in 3D. Yeah.